Hey guys, Austin from the Planetary Gamers here. Uh, gonna be doing a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, I am all alone tonight, and I'm gonna be doing a video tutorial on how to start up a 737 from cold and dark uh, here in x -Plane. Now, I've tried to look at some other checklists online, and most of them were either add-ons or plug-ins, or uh, they just didn't really pertain to x -Plane 11. But I uh, found one that actually made sense, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, but before we do any of that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like this video, and if it helped you. Uh, it really just uh, lets us know what you want to see and what you don't, and uh, what you like and what you don't like. So it uh, helps the channel grow. Uh, we do have some pretty great videos out right now. We do have more lined up along the way. So uh, yeah, we would really appreciate it if you would do all those things. It really, uh, really helps us. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and click New Flight. We're going to make sure our 737 is selected. So we're going to go to Customize. Now the big thing is uh, we need to make sure this box that says start with engines running is unchecked, which it is. Uh, we're going to go to Orlando International, which is the local airport. Uh, gate 48, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, local weather, local time of day. Uh, everything else looks good, so we're going to go ahead and start flight. Now, this does take uh, quite a bit of time to load, so uh, we'll go ahead and Alright, so here we are in our 737, and as you can see, we are in a cold and dark state. So, uh, no lights, no engines, no nothing. Uh, so, it's basically, whenever you get in your car, nothing's running, right? Uh, so, that's... Oh, oh, hey, we got another airline over there. Alright, cool. Um, so, pretty much what we're going to be doing is starting from scratch. So, first thing we're going to do is turn on my aviation flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. That might help. And we're going to come over here and we're going to turn the dome light on to bright. And then come over here. Turn the ground power on. There we go. We can turn our flashlight off. We don't need it anymore. Um, now, when you turn the ground power on, you might hear what sounds to be like engine starting. Uh, but don't be fooled, it's not the engine starting. <laughs> uh, basically, we are connected to uh, the airport, and that's uh, how we're getting our power. So, um, yep, so first thing we're going to do is come over here. Actually, first thing we're going to do, make sure our parking brake is set, which it is. Uh, now, the first thing we're going to do is come over here and make sure our master battery is set to on and our standby power is set to auto uh, as well as our ground power which is set to on so uh, from there we're going to start up the APU or the auxiliary power unit um, so basically whenever I push this lever down you're gonna see this gauge rise and uh, that's how you know the APU is starting up. So go ahead and I usually like to hold it just gives a little more dramatic effect. Um, so just a couple seconds will do on that and uh, we'll see over here this indicator should light up blue. There it is and uh, so then we can turn on our APU generators for engines 1 and 2 as well as turn our ground power off because guess what we don't need it anymore and then we'll come over here turn on our fuel pumps for one and two we're gonna come over here to this other panel right there <coughs> and we're gonna turn on the APU bleed to there uh, and then we'll come over here turn on our hydraulic pumps both sets of those and so this is what kind of threw me off for uh, X-Plane is I used to play a lot of uh, Flight Simulator X and they didn't have all these switches here uh, and even if, even if they did they weren't 
they were inoperable. So uh, what really kind of threw me off is in FSX, you have to turn this to flight, and then it'll automatically do the ignition start. But for X-Plane, for some reason, you have to turn it to ground. Never have quite figured that out. <laughs> so with that said, we'll go ahead and switch that to ground. Now you'll start to hear the engine start up, and that is the actual engine. Uh, it's not a faux engine. So right when this gets to about 20, which is right now, we'll go ahead and go down here and introduce fuel. <coughs> then you'll see the engine catch there. Good. So we'll do the same thing. And you see it flip back to auto, so whenever it flips back to auto, you know you did it right. So we'll go ahead and do number two. Now one thing I did forget to mention, uh, low oil pressure and oil filter bypass. You want to wait until those indicators go away, basically, until you put, introduce fuel. So we'll go ahead and wait. Shouldn't be more than a few seconds. There we go. And then we'll introduce fuel to engine number two. And it should flip back over to, yep, to just flip back over to auto right there. So after we do that, we're going to go ahead and turn our APU bleed off and our APU as an entire unit will turn off because we don't need the auxiliary power unit. We have the engines running now. So uh, we'll go up here and turn our yaw damper. <laughs> Y'all come back now? Okay, no, maybe not. Um, so, pretty much, uh, you could go into more detail, but this is basically, in a nutshell, um, how you get cold, or uh, you start from cold and dark, and we've basically, I'll show you, actually, we've started the engines. Like, they're both spinning and ready to go. So, from here, we really could... Um, get a push truck or something along those lines but uh, I'm actually going to go a little step further uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do up into the point of uh, before takeoff so over here we're going to turn our seatbelt sign on you'll hear the lovely sound there Elevator trim set for takeoff, which is inside this green zone here. Uh, we'll go ahead and set our flaps to 5 degrees. So, we'll go ahead, 1, 2, 3, for 3 sets of flaps. And what I like to do while that's doing that, is come over here, do our flight controls. So, left, right, forward, and back, because there have been many times, <laughs> unfortunately, I get through starting this whole entire thing up and wouldn't you know it I start to take off and <laughs> I have no flight controls so that's not really a good time so after we did flight controls we can turn our taxi lights on I'm gonna try to get that in the same shot here we have dim and then we have bright not too much of a difference but uh, I'm sure if you were standing in front of it, it'd be quite a difference. Um, so from here, we'll go ahead and turn our parking brake off. Now, you probably noticed uh, this electrical indicator here on the uh, on the display. Basically, uh, like I said, it's like your car. You don't want any uh, indicators, no lights, no hazard lights, or anything like that coming on while you're well in this situation while you're flying. Um, but in the same way, it's also uh, a way I got our ATC up there. Not the greatest ATC, but it'll do. Uh, so yeah, it, you, you basically yellow lights are warnings, and uh, red lights are crucial, like danger. I'll see if I can show you. Yeah, there you go. So there's some red lights for you. Um, so basically, how we turn this off is we come up here. We're going to turn on the uh, generators, and we're also going to back up first of all. We're going to come here, turn the bus transfer from auto back to off, and there we go. Uh, the indicator is gone.
So that's uh that's really about it. Um, there's not a whole lot more than that. Uh, this is always going to stay on. Uh, these are the gear. Yep, these are the gear lights, so those will stay on as long as they're down. And then this is the. I mean, you can leave these on if you want, but uh, this is the probe heat. So we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and turn it off just to just to have a little fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope this guy video really helped you guys. Hope it answers some questions for you. Uh, if you have any additional questions, or if you want to see another video like this, like a 747 or any other aircraft in X-Plane, uh, please drop a comment and let us know. Uh, we'd be more than happy to do one for you. Uh, but until then, we'll see you next time.